For today's video, we're going to try out the husk grinder. You'll be able to get it as a reward after you complete the Labyrinth Part 2 quest. And this is what it looks like up close. I'm not zoomed in, it's literally this big. And here are all of the possible perks that you can put on it. Just like with other black metal weapons, the only elements you'll be able to choose are physical and fire. Also, whenever you stun or knock back an enemy, it's going to reduce your current health and deal damage in half tile radius. And at the very bottom, it says Axe Heavy Black Metal deals moderate damage and heavy impact. And it also has the Maelstrom Heavy Attack that continuously spins while holding alternate fire. And the loadout we're going to use while we test it is anti Cotocera as our commander with the Preemptive Strike Team perk. And for our support team, we have Main Stage Quinn, Swamp Knight, Lotus Assassin Ken, Crossbones Barrett, and Mer Monster Ken. And the mission we're going to do is this Power Level 132 Evacuate the Shelter, and we're also going to be doing it solo. <laughs> Tell your friends. Damn, nature! You scary! Alright, so before we get into the gameplay, I do want to see how much damage we can deal with different amounts of health. And it looks like the most damage we did right there was 242,000 with our health full. I also want to see how much damage we deal with about half of our health missing. See 377,000 and 311,000. And I also want to see how much damage we deal with hardly any health. And we did over 400,000 damage that time and it only took two hits to kill him. And let's go ahead and try to kill this one over here as well. See how much damage we deal on this. Oh, 600,000. Okay, so that's the most damage we've dealt with it so far using our regular attack. I also want to test it out against the power level 132 smasher and we're only going to use our regular attack for this one. Let's see 353 up oh, 402,000, 338, 345. So that's what the regular attack looks like against the power level 132 smasher and I also want to test it out against the taker and we did 430,000 damage that time. So that's what the regular attack looks like against power level 132 Mist Monsters. I also want to show what the heavy attack looks like as well. And it has the same heavy attack as the Steam Thrasher. Wait, was that 800,000? Hold up. Was that 800,000? Let's try to get on this blaster. 281, 237. Oh yeah, the heavy attack is much better than the regular attack. It seems like the attack speed is faster than the regular attack as well and that uses a total of 20 energy but since we're playing as anti cuddle we get our energy back whenever we get a kill obviously whenever you stun or knock back an enemy it's going to cause an explosion and it's also going to take away eight percent of your health but it also deals damage in a half tile radius the explosion won't cause propane tanks to explode but hitting the propane tank with the axe will cause it to explode but as you can tell the attack speed is very slow without any attack speed perks so you may either want to go with obsidian and bright core or you could put an attack speed perk on it but yeah, it has one of the slowest attack speeds out of all melee weapons so i think you're going to want to use the heavy attack because that does seem like it's a little bit faster than the regular attack you son of a bitch i'm in did you see that's pretty cool you can actually do the the spin while you're in the air go <laughs> oh. Anyways, here's the loadout that I'm going to use during the gameplay. We went ahead and switched our team perk to Blast from the Past. And we also added Arlene Isa, as well as a couple of Dino heroes. So since we're playing Evacuate the Shelter, the first thing we have to do is run to it and defend it. And since there's only two of us, we only have to get 20 kills. Nice job. And that's it. Okay. Those are the only things we need, A1. Just the shield boost and the health boost. Energy. I need energy. I need Surprise. energy, Cookie. I'm going, A1. Calm down. In the game and in real life. Give it to me. Uh, yeah, I'll be right back real quick. I'm gonna place up everything. I'll be back. Alright. Fine. I'll do it myself. Nope. Nope. Okay, here we go, Keep people. The shelter safe. Protect the shelter until the survivors can be safely extracted. Didn't really have a whole lot of time to build since we're playing evacuate the shelter. Don't do this. Oh, we're about to go down already. Uh oh. Uh, let's go ahead and heal ourselves first. 
But yeah, we do have a couple of defenders helping us out. And they're both using 130 obliterators. Let's go ahead and make another one real quick because I feel like this one may end up breaking. There it is. Okay, here we go. And we got some coming from the east as well as the west. I'm going to go ahead and try to watch the west. I don't know if Cookies is here or not. He may not be here, so. Yep, I don't think he's here. Okay. Well, we're going to have to watch both directions then. And we got what? Wait, we got water on this one? Oh, man. Wish I could. Okay, so when we got to the shelter, they didn't show any notification for the element. So I thought we were going to have physical. But we sort of got unlucky on this one. Obviously, when it comes to water husk, you want to use nature weapons. And that's probably one of the main things I don't like about this axe is that you can only choose between physical and fire. So it's only going to be really useful against physical and nature. So that's probably the main thing I don't like about it. I also don't like the slow attack speed. Like I said earlier, I believe it's like the second slowest in Save the World behind the Walloper. And our first one did break. Let's go ahead and switch that one. So I would definitely recommend either putting an attack speed perk on it, or you can choose Obsidian instead of Shadow Shard. <laughs> okay, I'm here. <laughs> Welcome back. Back. Well, I apologize for that. You all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The attack speed is slow, and it also takes your health away. So, those are a couple of things I don't like about it. Uh, I do like the damage we dealt with it, though. I think the most we did was six hundred thousand. And I also really like the heavy attack. It's like my, one of my favorite heavy attacks when it comes to melee weapons. Uh, cookies, we got a lot of husk over here. Yeah, uh, I'm using the, the the axe and I'm like I'm, I'm losing so much health. So and we got oh, we got exploders. To, yep, yep, yep. yep. No. I'm gonna place down some floor launchers real quick because we don't have any over here. Oh, they're about to break through cookies. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm fixing everything right now. Alright, that should help. I went ahead and used my slow field, so save yours for the mini boss if you can. Yep, yep. Alright, I'm gonna go uh, back to I the other have side. A slow field. Oh, uh, sorry about that. Well, never mind then. Yeah. We're just gonna have to wing it then. Yep. So yeah, I would recommend putting at least one attack speed perk on it or making it obsidian. Either way, it's going to increase the uh, attack speed of it. Oh, oh man. We got more exploders coming in and I'm hitching. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, me too, me too. So I think we'll get the mini boss like at the last minute. So as soon as you see it, let us know. All right. I see a smasher. He's on the way. Yep. And we got lobbers too. Yep, I'm killing the lobbers. Uh, let's go ahead and use our heavy attack on this big dude. Alright. Oh, how did he hit me? <laughs> there we go. I got medical fumes if you need it, okay? Alright, I'm good for now. Go ahead and use it. Alright, alright. You serious? Here we go. But yeah, when it comes to axes, I would consider this to be one of the best axes in Save the World. As a matter of fact, I think it's the best axe. Oh, we did 577,000 right there. Mainly because of the heavy attack. And I also think the damage is pretty good. But yeah, now that we've gotten gameplay with this, the only weapon I need to review is the Dirge Song. So I'll try to review that sometime this week. I just need to farm some more Legendary and Epic perk up. But as soon as I max that out, I'll do a review of it. Uh, I think they're about to break through. Yep. Smasher! Man, that hurts. 
Uh, we only got 30 seconds. Where's the boss? Oh, he's here, Cookies. He's here. And I'm about to go down. <gasps> he's here, Cookie. I don't know if we can get him, because we really don't have that much time, but we can try. Wait, are you down? Oh, yeah, we're definitely not getting him. Plus, he's a tank. Yeah, I don't think we'll get him. Oh, I'm about to go down, too. Alright, so I'm not even going to worry about him, because we only got three seconds, and I'm about to die. But yeah, that'll do it for our first Husk Grinder gameplay. For those of you who have tried it, let us know what you think about it. Anyways, we got a level 4 loot chest from it. With a people, gold, hero, and survivor XP. And we also got some storm shards and candy. Also, we are currently doing a giveaway on Discord every day until Christmas. So if you'd like to get some free stuff, be sure to check out our Discord. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Anyways, that'll do it for our first Husk Grinder gameplay. Big shout out to Cookies for helping us out. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.